Flory Models, I'm Philip Flory, kit review time. Today we've got Meng's 135th scale Smirch. This is the 9A52-2. Okay, it's a long range rocket launcher, and amazingly, a bit like buses, or is it just Meng and Trumpeter team to outdo each other? Um, this is the Meng version. There is a Trumpeter version available as well. Okay, now it just seems to be we had this with the Scud because Meng had the Scud and then obviously Trumpeter had the Scud, various things. So, but this particular kit review is purely on the Meng one. I haven't got the Trumpeter one here to go against it. Uh, I know there's a lot of fours and against both kits and things like that. One thing we do have here though, there's something that I saw when I got this one is a resin wheel set for it, which I think really is a fantastic upgrade, which we'll have a look a little bit later on. So, what have we got? We have a huge box, as you can see down here. Beautiful box art on the front, as we've come to sort of, you know, uh, get to know with them. This is the Tyrannostegosaurus, uh, I don't know which version this is. Uh, do, 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 Stegosaurus. Okay, as we know, they're all sort of, the ranges are in dinosaurs uh, and all the rest of it. So your kit number for this is SS009. As you can see, this is basically what this thing is. It's a giant truck with a multi-launch rocket system. As I said, we've seen it before in the Scud version, and I'm sure there's other versions of this coming along as well. So looking around the box, you can see some very nice different box arts. A little bit about the weapon system itself, kit info as you can see down there, and on the other side, just like that. So in the box, let's get the lid off. There we go. We have this. Right, let's just drop this top camera down a bit. Now you're in a bit. As you can see, it's absolutely crammed full of bits and pieces in here. And really, really crammed as well. It's stuffed to the brim. So, starting off with the instructions. So, usual thing, very nice booklet from them. As you can see, very high quality. A little bit about, obviously, the system itself in real life. The markings we can do. So you've actually got different, obviously, colour schemes down in here right the way through. So you've actually got six types of schemes it's calling out for. Usual thing, starting off with how we saw this, obviously, with uh, the other vehicles like the Scud. Starting with the actual uh, system run through for the actual the chassis if you like of the vehicle going through two halves going together and then lots and lots of this this is going to be all the drive shaft obviously the running gear everything else like that you can imagine right the way underneath this working all the way through so as you can see it's pretty extensive and i'll just sort of flash through this all but as you can see if you are into your detailed models or your working gear that you're never going to see because it's all up and underneath it has all got them all right so down here as you can see you've got a fully detailed engine system okay all the different areas to say the drive system obviously this is eight wheel drive putting in the armor plates underneath with this actual chassis as you can see running down here with the engine on the front okay and then adding all the bits now as i say there's a lot of adding to do to this one uh going right the way through this end so we've actually got the the linkage arms going in there and on and on and as you can see it is extremely detailed i won't bore you to death by talking you right the way through so i don't know what most things are called anyway okay then you're moving up actually onto the launcher itself so we've actually got the system this is where it's going to deviate from the usual builds i've put in all this system in there right the way through the hydraulic assemblies all right then we're going on power boxes what else we got down here this is for the actual feet coming out the side a bit for the stabilizing pads and then into the wheels something we'll look at we'll look at the kit ones but also say we have got the resin ones at the same time to look at and then working our way through as you can see incredibly detailed this isn't going to be a quick build all right so going right the way through the doors inner and outer skins you can see a nice little touch with these right the way through and then all the internal details going into the crew cab and then obviously the driving cab various other parts of the vehicle and onward and onward okay and as you can see it is very very extensive working your way down through all this one okay so as you can see system on this one is the actual uh, rockets and cells with the tubes so multiple parts so we're looking at so we've got the launch tube front mid and the rear part uh, and then you've got the four part as well. So multiple systems there for putting this thing together and the warhead itself. Uh, you can do as a separate, obviously in the tube or without. Um, so you can see it from the front like we've got here on the box art. 
So that looks like it's uh, lots of fun there. The actual tube rails themselves that they're actually going to clamp to going down in there and then putting them in. So you've got a rack system, this is how it's going to work. So it's going to make this incredibly complicated by doing seam lines on all the tubes. But as you can see, we've got a system of like two twos and twos to add them all up to going in on this one. So actually, how many is it this thing's got? This is one, uh, four, eight, 12 tubes on this so you've got the outer rear ones at the rear then you've got the mid sections then you've got the plate goes on and then the front so that's a living nightmare isn't it putting all that lot together okay so <laughs> lots of fun there sighting unit systems going right the way through there as you can say the platform itself more of the hydraulics actually pinning this thing together as i say so you can have it in the up position or the driving position okay and then right away on the front so we've got the actual uh, cold weather pads on the front if you're doing it for the sort of the cold weather ones uh, to insulate the radiators a bit more towing cables and then we've actually got so you've got towing cable measurement ladder down here as well so you can see that as a ruler and then all your parts as you can see in there so we've got a little bit of photo etch to look forward and your markings as you can see again these are new types of things so different shows of markings when it's been at different expos and things like that okay as you can see right the way through there we go there's color call outs in vallejo as i say it'd be nice if there's more sort of standard ones but there we go that's your vallejo call outs down there and everything else so highly detailed to say the least all right we'll look at this guy as we've got it right here so in here we have your obligatory rear view mirrors that you tend to get with all the the main kits we don't need to really drop these out you see we've got a little bit of the actual photo etch ones on there sorry let's move this side cam in so you guys can see all of this there we go that's the decals no problem with those at all all right right okay where do you start okay now to be honest i'm building main at the moment i'm doing the terminator as we do this review not impressed i say i'm not impressed yes the kit's fine it's lovely it's here uh, we've built it. It's just that the plastic isn't this plastic. Uh, it's a different plastic. It's very heavy gauge. It's hard works, hard to sand it, hard to cut it and all the rest of it. I'm hoping that this would be, which sounds more clicky, tinny, um, nicer, sharper plastic to be honest. All right. The gates look a lot smaller on this as well than they do on that one. Anyway, getting back. So as you can see down here, we've actually got the this is your main chassis right the way through the bolts again nice and sharp really sharp actually uh right the way through this which is always a good sign some very nice details we've got a little bit of flash here and there but nothing we would really moan too much about these are quite a lot of complex round curved parts burring on but we have got a little bit of flash here and there over the entire sprue but as i said nothing that couldn't be cleaned up quite easily the ejector pins seem recessed although it looks like we've got a bit of a mismold mold in here this looks like a funny little section in here while well, the light catches it on the close-up you can see a little bit funny on mine all right but generally the detail is all there very nice clean the burring is a little heavy when we say burring this is the sandwich between the seam that you get between on round parts things like that especially got quite a bit in there heavy in there so you need a little bit of clean out okay so in the bag Okay, into bag two. All right, so we've got nice anti-slip plate there. That's quite nice detail. We like that a lot. Again, all of these smaller parts, no problem at all. Very nice, clean, crisp. Again, we've got nice texture as well. It looks like a sort of a metal uh, been sort of you know primed and everything, and already texture to it. The ladders have even got little anti-slip rails on them. All right, so it looks like rebar okay and generally not too bad at all just checking it all over can't see any problems with it and as you can see pretty much standard uh main way of doing things and layouts the gates on the screws all look quite small which is quite a nice touch okay so some of the other areas so we got some arches here over here some running gear various bits and pieces as you can see all over this very nice we got sort of heat shrunk piping down here which it looks very nice indeed some nice textures on all of that we have got some pins these are like ejector pins sticking up i hate these things okay because sometimes they'll take your detail with it well on all of these parts so you're going to have to get rid of these off the bat which is a little bit 
nasty to see, but generally I think you can live with it. No problem with any of these. These smaller parts, nice to see. We've got very, very small sprue gates leading up to them. So literally a tiny little snip with a, a sharp pair of scissors or getting there with your knife, you have no problem at all. But as I said, ejector pins pretty much all over this. As you say, you've just got them off right there. Okay. So next one up, we've got some radiators down in here. This is more of your running gear, bits and pieces in this particular one. Okay, again, some of the smaller piping, some very nice details in all of these. Uh, oh, some running gear, say the cooling fans for the radiators, things like that. Generally, very nice. That's a little bit, oh yeah, it's supposed to be like that, sorry. Okay, so that's some lighting rig there. To be honest, I thought that was pins each side. Uh, it's not. Okay, so that's fine. Very nice. Little things like touches like this, I do like. I think that's a incredibly nice little touch where you've got the bolt and the strengthening in each side of it. Beautifully molded, very nicely done. Again, no problem with any of that. Okay, so in here we have the driver's wheel. Okay, so down there, as you say, we've got the steering wheel, all the smaller parts, again, all beautifully molded, no problem with any of that. Some of the instruments you can see they're actually molded into the, the parts themselves, which is a very nice touch. You can see just down there, generally, no problem with all of those. Okay, again, it's just we got a lot of this ejector pin stuff, which okay, it comes out easy enough, you've only got to flick it with your nail and it comes off, but it's just annoying that it's all there. Okay, to be honest, got the radiator here, which is a, a little bit, where are you? Hmm, close up, there we go. It's a little bit flashy, as you can see just down there. We'd like to see that perhaps a little bit sharper. Okay, back of the wheel, we've got some nice textures, things like that. And so, got lots of bags to get through here. It is a big kit. This isn't a quick build at all. With the Meng stuff, you tend to have all the details. You'll never see it, but it's all there, okay? So, generally, looking around, this grill work, very nice, very sharp. No problem with that at all. And then the same, again, with some of this, looks like the front uh, bumper system. Uh, we've got the air filter just down there. Again, very nicely done. Some of the ladders all look good. Generally, all the parts clean and crisp. No problem at all. All the ejector pins seem to be all completely out of the way, so we don't have to worry about any of those. And generally, as you can see, some very nice moulding. And as we make our way through here, bearing in mind we're not even halfway through, you can see it's not going to be a kit for the beginner, shall we say. Technically, that's a lie. It is a kit for the beginner because these kits do tend to go very, very well. Bearing in mind I haven't built this one. But what you need when you're doing these bigger kits is patience. Okay, it's going to take you a long time. It's not going to be a quick build. So if you're new to modelling, probably not a good one to start with. You want to start with something that's a little bit faster, comes together a bit quicker, and it sort of gets the mojo going. This is for your more experienced modeler who's used to pacing himself and working on a model over very, a lot of months. Okay, so generally, again, all the parts, no problem at all. We do like these exhausts, very good. Not totally hollow, but it wouldn't take a rocket scientist to get in there just to open those up again uh, and pull those through. But generally, as you can see, all the parts very nicely done indeed very nice very crisp molding on all of those okay so down here we only need to get one because it's multiple so as you can see down here is what we're talking about with that door system so we've actually got the inner doors skin down here and the outer all right so they're going to sandwich together and then we've got the starting of all these tubes of which there are numerous amounts of them okay lots of those to go on handles grip bars things like that as you can imagine all the way through we have got ejector pins which you will have to get rid of those because i think otherwise it won't line up if you've got them butting up against each other okay around there just like that but generally again very nice tube covers Looks like they're solid as well, so you could pop them on and off is required. So yeah, very nice on all of that. This is the cover missile. Okay, so again, we only need to get one of these out. A bit tricky because of the missile heads. So these are the actual heads. These are the back rail system. Okay, the launch rails, tubes at the other end, things like that. Again, very nicely done. We've got some nice texture on the tops of these guys. 
they really do look very nice indeed on the different cameras okay no problem with any of that clean crisp okay you can't see anything at all that you would worry about nice to see the actual at least the heads are in one piece and not sandwiched together because that would really drive you mad okay so this looks to be something like the launch rail and the tubes this is the tube holders that are going to put all of these in on p as you can see some very nice touches on all of that some nice details running right the way through the blind side again a little bit of jet pin but these are probably going to sandwich together so you're not going to see it this is the inside of these i do believe so you're not going to worry about those generally very nice clean crisp precise all of those and still it comes I don't know if any of these actually finished one of these yet. <coughs> okay, so transmission, various things down here. Looks like clutches and, and things going on. As you can see, looks like the top of the rocker covers there. Very nice, clean, crisp. Again, it is this thing, and I know I always say it, but you can always tell men because their bolts feel like proper bolts. They're nice and sharp, clean, crisply molded, everything else like that. Okay, as you can see on all of these parts, very nice indeed. Okay, that we'll do in a moment. It's vinyl. I'll try and keep on track. Okay, so down in here we've got this is a match pair, is it H? Yes. Okay, so as you can see, more stowage boxes, items, things like that. Again, the level of detail is great. Very nicely molded, cleanly molded, I should say, all of these parts down here on the bottom. As you can probably see, no problem with any of those at all. And even on the blind side, we're all clean and crisp. Amazing now, some of the ejector pins, you know, are there and some aren't the way they do it and all the rest of it. But generally, you can probably see the level of detail, this panelling, things like that down there. Very nice. Okay. So this, I do believe, is the engine. Well, certainly lots of parts of the engine. So it's going to be a match. No, it's not a match. There. These are separates. Okay, so what we've got down here is C and to C the arm. I thought it might be. Okay, so as you said, this is the rocker cover head. Very nicely detailed. All of that, that looks very nice. Obviously some type of bottle system down there and all the smaller parts. Very clean, crisp, precise. The handles, very nice small gates on those so they'd be easy to get off. And these eyelets as well. Again, small, tiny little gates. They'll come off very nice and easy. Smart moulding, very smart moulding. Okay. Again, looking around at it, very nice. Very good detail on all of these. Strange placement, occasionally the old little ejector pin, but it's better to have it on a situation like you've got here than it would be to have it on the part. But again, then you can see these mold points, three of them, huge, great things need to come off. Other things, nice detail on the underside, you probably hear it, clean, crisp, very nice, all of this particular sprue. It's very nice to see all these parts, very sharp molding, very nice molding, all of it. Again, this is where detail really pops because when you get the detail on the parts like this and it's sharp and crisp, it takes away from being a toy. Um, because what you're actually doing is making the bolts and all the smaller parts bigger because they're sharper. That means they're going to stand out. That means they'll take dry brushing more realistically. Where if it's soft, it, you try and dry brush it, it's like, you know, yeah, it's there, but it's not brilliant and all the rest of it. This works really well. I love this type of thing, like this bottom texture you can see down here. Very nicely done because you actually got the bolts. And when I do this, you can hear how crisp and sharp those details are and that's what i mean when you dry brush it it will pop and be in scale all right so there we go this is the crew cabin the outer doors things like that one of the time it's handled up and all the grab handles in the doors are on that will look absolutely fantastic beautifully done no problem with any of that sprue whatsoever okay so we've got these here This is one of these investment kits. It's not a cheap kit by far. 
but it is a you know what I would call a money's worth kit because you've just got so much of it okay you can add detail onto this as well so it's one of those things see it as a long time project we've been talking about it recently quick builds medium builds long term projects this would be a long term project to do again look at the detail inside those wheels they are absolutely fantastic very nice very sharp details in all of those and all of these other parts around here as you can see which are suspension and running gear very nice indeed and these wheels here as i said we'll be looking at a closer look we're going to leave one of those to a side because we're going to be looking at more of those in a moment off to one side in the box we can see this lot which is where the problem is going to come as you can see we have tubes and tubes and tubes literally of them all now this is what is going to make up this on here so what you've actually got a situation is lots of seam lines okay so you're hoping that these are going to be a very nice fit and a very nice clean but you have got the twist you can probably see it on these guys as it runs in so that twist is then going to have to be put into each other uh, and make your way around you can probably see it running down here it's going to be twisting around like a spiral working all the way down so they've got to be lined up then they're going to have to be obviously glued together sanded put in correctly and you've got the detail of more twisting going down that is going to be a few evenings work just on their own just to do this lot and as you say there you go bags and bags of fun for the whole family okay let's have a look at this guy this is very nice actually this is a vinyl uh, area so this will be all your soft rubbery butts so again as you can see these are the cold weather blankets that are going to go on the front of the radiator individually so you can open them up for cooling and down these are going to be your top rubber caps i assume for on the top they're obviously in the sort of polyurethane as you can see down here we've got wiring and hosing and various parts down here i assume that's off the missile rig and everything else and again because it's in this stuff very flexible the way i treat it put it down water down pva glue 50 50 and glue it down with that that way you know it's not going to go anywhere at all now in here which is glued in and now we've got here this is obviously for the working suspension system on this one it's got an active suspension system with a pin system going through on those so that's all of them and we have those so we'll do that in a moment let's have a look at this underside with a little bit of cable so this is the main bed at the back it's going to rotate on as you can see some very nice details all over that not so much anything on the side a couple of bits and pieces underside you're not worried about at all poly caps famous for holding on all your armor wheels and various components and things I'll get back in the bag piece of string which I absolutely detest I hate those in kits okay and there's your poly caps all right put those there <clears throat> and then we've got the clear parts again beautifully packaged I love the way they do this in this protective sticky sheet which isn't sticky it only sticks to itself so I don't think it sticks to everything else is finding the end is always a nightmare there we go once you've got it fine actually this one's a it's a bag from it so again you can see the quality of the parts there everything crystal crystal clear no problem again beautifully packaged i do love the way they do this i wish more manufacturers would do it because it does save any scraping or tarnishing or anything else we can get this back in the bag always like to keep these protected as much as possible even during reviews so let me just cut the bag off and slide it in okay we have photo etch a couple of sheets of photo etch obviously for adding all those beautiful details you can see down there very nicely done just the single sheet in each packet okay and we have the wheels so this is where it comes in because obviously we have a wheel here eight wheels on this particular one so we just grab one and have a close look okay generally some nice details on there if we can try and even drop this top cam down even closer we can compare it to the other one as you can see some very nice details and we've got a very fine center seam but nothing you would really have a problem with but this is a big heavy 
chunky tire. So to try and get a flat spot on this would be a little bit of a problem. I still maintain the best way is to screw it to the base of something, that way it pulls it into it. I do like that idea, that works really well. I've seen it done many, many times and I do like it. Or you can go down this route. Now this here is the uh, Russian wheel set that actually goes through. So this is SPS 019, okay. So this is a, the wheel set which comes, which comes beautifully packaged as you can see. They come in these little bags and they come like this. And the big thing is, as you can see, we are flat spotted. Now, the only thing is, these could not might be the wrong wheels for this one. Now I'm seeing it. I thought these were the wheels for this one and actually different type of center hub. So you might forget this or these ones here are slightly different. The only reason I say that is that the hub on this is slightly different to this design. Now it could be just a scale thing, but this one on here is slightly bigger. So we just, you know, literally it is slightly bigger. I know that's not the best way of doing it, but it's closer than I've got. This one here is a little bit wider than this guy in here, but it could be this is wrong or let's face it, who's going to know, but these are beautifully done. No problem at all. And as you can see, when you look at the tread pattern and everything else on these, you can see these tires as well. These rubber ones are slightly bigger. All right. But generally I think the tread and everything else is there. It's an injection molded resin by the looks of it, the way it is. But the big thing is these are flat on the bottom. These aren't, which are going to just make this thing sit and stand all a lot better. So it'd be really handy with that one. So there we go. That is the Meng 135th scale Smirch rocket launcher. As I say, I don't think it's a straightforward kit. I think it's one of those ones you're going to have to work out and various things such as the tubes I can imagine are going to be a complete nightmare on, on it. The rest of it though, I think will make up to be a fantastic kit. Put this into a diorama, put it into a setting where you can open it up the doors, show some life around it and things like that. I think it will become an absolute all time stunning kit. And again, being Meng, you know the fit quality and everything else should be top notch with it as well. So there we go. That is the 135th scale Meng Smudge. <laughs>